Hello everybody, this is Miss Solomon and I wanted to show you how to access your digital textbook. Now I know everybody should have gotten one um, in the classroom, but should you have missed that opportunity and you're now stuck at home, quarantine, I just wanted to show you how to do that. So if you go to Schoology, uh, just click on whatever period you're in uh, for school for biology and then you're just going to go all the way down to the left and you can see at the bottom it says HMH. Now HMH is the name of the textbook. It's, uh, it's like the publisher of the textbook. So you're going to click on HMH and what usually happens is it gives you a little launch app. Sometimes that launch app gets hidden behind so you want to look for it and it looks like this. So um, there's a whole bunch of other types of books there. The only one we are concerned with is the one that says California HMH Science Dimensions. So you click on that one, it's the one with the snail. And then it's gonna give you a, a dashboard with, with your um, biology assignments on it. Now for me, it's gonna look a little bit different because, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm a teacher and I don't get to see the student version. So, um, so you'll see, you'll see that. So you'll see the assignments that I have listed for you. Um, now you're not gonna really do the assignments in here, but I'm showing you all the pages that you have to do. So that the pages that are due this week for Cornell Notes are pages five through 13. And for reasons that are too boring to explain, I had to break them up into two sections. But uh, so you're going to start on page five. And then you can click open. And I think once you click it, it'll just open for you. And now you have the digital textbook. My recommendation is that you work, you, that you align with the, the digital and the regular book. I would work together on those um, because it's just, it, it's good to have both of them. What I would do is uh, the first thing you're going to do with every section, every unit section, and this is 1.1, Life in the Earth Ecosystem. Uh, I'm going to show you in a minute how to set up the Cornell notes, but you want to write the title, you want your name, you want the date, and you want your period on, on the um, paper. And you're going to start with the can you explain it. And so you're going to read the little section. And then instead of typing it here, I just want you to make a prediction on your paper. And then anytime you see where it says evidence notebook, and it tells you to something to write down, you want to write that down in your notebook as well. Once you finish this page, I think there's a little button that says I'm done and then you'd move to the next one and then this is the second one this would be pages 6 through 13. so you're going to read through it and what's really cool is let's say you're not you know it's like you get a little stuck with the reading this lady will actually read it to you if you click on this the robot lady systems and system models we'll throughout history humans have aimed to understand all right. And what I think is a good idea is to read along with it, because if you can see the words and hear the words, it makes it makes you understand it a lot better. So you can actually go through there and then look for things that are important to write down. I would scroll through this and then click on the notes app right here, the little notes section, and you can actually highlight sections you want and then you can say add a note so i've highlighted this and maybe i want it to be pink and i can say add note and and then i can also type something in there if i want to uh, remind myself of something or if i have a question about it i can type that in there now i would go through this whole thing and do that first and then i would go back and actually write what i put here in my notebook so into my cornell notes so then i can move on to the next page which i think is actually due next week this section so this this page right here would be all 
of pages 6 through 13. It's all on one section. Okay. So just um, one of the things I also want to point out is anytime there is some kind of a, an activity here. Um, Analyze. Oops. If I, I can refresh it here. So let's say I get to this little analyze activity. I want you to do these activities and you don't have to like write all the pictures or whatever, but put them in order. Uh, you know, if it says explain, write an explanation. If it says um, anything else, like a little multiple choice practice, put it in there. This remember this notebook is going to be a tool for you to study for tests and you really have to use this as a tool to help you understand the material so you can do well on the tests and stuff and learn. All right. So that's really mostly it uh, for the textbook. And I don't think... that there is anything else. All right. Yeah. And if you have any questions, you can always contact me on Remind and I'll be happy to help. All right. Good luck.